I am very excited to be able to open this building and bring in the students. We have some 500 students who will be entering the doors of this facility and then about 3,000 students on the University of Central Missouri side. So I'm very excited to be moving into more space, but also a collaborative learning environment. The MIC creates education at the speed of business that will allow students to gain the skill sets they need to have a bright and promising future. This is truly a unique opportunity. In fact, it was so unique that the President of the United States recognized it at a special event in Warrensburg a few years ago. That doesn't happen if you're another person in line. It's the partnership between Lee Summit R7, UCM, and the Metropolitan Community College. There's no program, no facility like this anywhere else. It's really, truly one of a kind. It's a nine through 16 environment and beyond when we talk about workforce development that's not designed like a traditional teaching space. It's designed to mimic the workspace and the field in which students will be going into. It's, it's about being ready for the workforce when you get out and when you have the opportunities where our students are engaged in internships and see the real world, see the businesses so that they're prepared when they come out and that's obviously a benefit for our businesses because now they're getting students they're prepared and ready to join their business immediately out of school. And it's been a great relationship. We've had the opportunity to have our first cohort uh, that started three plus years ago, successfully complete the program, DST for this upcoming year. We'll have 19 members as part of the 2017-2018 class. We have over 40 corporate partners and we know that they're going to be in and out the doors of that new facility. And a lot of them were involved in giving us feedback on what that instructional space looked like. And hopefully they'll look at that facility as a hub for needs, whether it's professional development, if it's a continuing ed for their employees. The opening of this new campus facility really kind of represents game on. Now our challenge is to take something that we have demonstrated that is actually possible and make sure it's accessible, not only to the, the students and their families who take full advantage, but the, for future for talent across our region to make Kansas City more competitive than we could ever imagine. This is just a one-of-a-kind opportunity for our students here in the LSR 7 and that ability they're going to have to interface on a daily basis with college students. And we know that that's just going to increase their motivation around not only going to college but persisting when they get there. And I just have to think about it. We know the average cost of a college education, cutting it in half. And that's very, very exciting for our students and their families. There isn't very many opportunities that we get to really make a difference in this world. And when I look at that Missouri Innovation Campus and I understand what it can do for our young people, for people that are currently employed, and for those that are making investments in our community, I know that it was a worthwhile investment. And I'm very proud of this community and I'm very proud of the people who created a partnership in order to make this difference. I can't stress to you how collaborative this process has been and I can't believe that we're here today celebrating this facility and the start of a new future together. Innovation is alive and well and it's continuing and now we have the state-of-the-art facility to continue it in. I would say to all of us as a team, congratulations. As we open the MIC campus and we look forward to the future, I just want to say to all of our community, thank you for your support. I want to say to all of our staff, thanks for your forethought, thanks for your dedication, thanks for the work you've done for our students. It matters and our children will be better because of it. Now it begins. Now it's on us. We have all those pieces we said we thought we needed, now it's on us to make sure that this moves forward with the kind of pace and quality that we all along believed it could be. Now it begins.